Hello everyone, it's David here from David Owen Creates, and if you clicked on today's video, I think you know why you're here. We're going to be making some cute vintage pottery, vintage inspired pottery, I should say. So here is one I've already created, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I did. I picked up these little white vases. It came in a three pack from the Target dollar spot section. Now this was a while back, so they may not have any of these anymore, and if you do find them at your Target, you should luck out and get them on uh, clearance. I think I had picked up another three pack for only 90 cents. So basically we're just gonna be using paint to create texture onto the vase, and you can do this with any vase of your choice. You don't have to have these little ones. I just thought they were really cute and kind of inspired by the picture I showed you earlier. So we're just going to start off with a base color for our vase. I mixed up some white, some gray, and a little bit of a light brown color and just made my own like neutral grayish tone, like a slate brown color, I guess. It's more on the gray side, the cooler side, than it is on the brown. Anyways, I went ahead and just painted the vase, the whole thing, slapped the paint on there. After this color was done, not really drying, but you know, it sat for a minute, I went in with the brown tone. It's just a lighter brown color. I think it's called Smoky Woods. Got this from Hobby Lobby for like 60 cents or something. So I just took my brush, dipped it in that brown, and I went over the ring or the edge around the vase on the bottom side as well as the top. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to start blending. So I just took my brush, dabbed some of that paint off, and then I just mirrored the two, just blended those very, very carefully, doing that back and forth motion with the brush. And then after a while, I would just dab my brush, kind of get that paint off, and just smear a little bit of that tone randomly throughout the base, and then obviously blend it in. Once I finished both of these bases, then I went ahead and added some more texture by splattering darker paint onto the base. And here is what they look like when they're completed. I think they look so cute. They add a little bit of character, that little vintage flair to any space in your home. And they're so teeny, you can add them like in your bathroom, maybe on a bookshelf that you wanted, you needed something, a little something. Just make one of these and pop it on there and it's gonna look beautiful. All right, the next little vintage inspired pottery piece <laughs> we're doing is this gorgeous round vessel. I love it. We're going to be using things from Dollar Tree such as this round vase as well as some silicone and some toilet paper. So the first step is to put that silicone or the caulking all over our vase and you can do whatever type of vase. It doesn't have to be this round one. Whichever one you like to do, just pick up a glass vase, cover it, then we're going to wet our finger and just smooth this out as much as possible. Get it all over the vase, like just fully coat it with this. And then our next step is to grab our toilet paper. We're just going to take off one or two sheets, not like a lot of it. We're going to take it apart so there's just like a little bit in our hand and then just push it into the silicone like this. Just super random, make sure you push it all the way. The little piece is hanging, it's not the end of the world because we are gonna be painting over this. But as you can see, it creates amazing texture on the vase. So I went ahead and just painted mine all black. Did that off camera so you don't have to watch me paint it. But just paint the whole thing black. Then we're gonna grab some ground cinnamon and we're basically just gonna pour it all over the vase. I know, it's crazy. But we'll rub this into all those cracks and crevices all over that vase that we created with the textured toilet paper trick. And that's what's gonna give us our aged vessel, that vintage antique look. Isn't this beautiful? 
It's crazy what cinnamon can do. So at this point, you can stop. You can try to spray this to seal that cinnamon in with a clear coat um, or go in how I am with just like some gray paint and I just kind of added it in here and there and smeared it over the little bumps just to kind of give more dimension to the vase. Once I was done, this is how I styled it. I'm trying something a bit similar. We're just taking some spray paint and we're gonna be painting this pot that I had on hand. You can get whatever, again, like whatever you wanna make look vintage or older. Just grab a pot, a glass, vase, whatever you choose, whatever you have on hand. And I just went ahead, went through and painted mine white. Right, so this is the following day. I let this dry, gave it 24 hours just to make sure that every coat of it was dry. Anyways, we're just taking literally like soil, dirt, rocks, dust. We are using Mother Nature. This stuff is free, guys. Let's utilize it. So I just took my pot and got it as close as possible to this bucket. And then I would just take the dirt mixture and rub it right onto the pot letting the dirt soak up right into those little pores, the cracks, everything. So this took me a long time, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while. I would do one coat after I brushed most of the dirt off, I then sprayed it with a clear coat, and then I'd go back over with the dirt. I did this 15 times total. But if you are able to do it more than that, I highly recommend doing that. The more you do it, the older it's going to look. All right, here is the finished result of my pot. It's kind of hard to see in the daylight here. I do have the flash on so you guys can see a little bit better. But you can see all this nice texture that the dirt left behind. Well, the texture was already there on the pot. The dirt just got in to the cracks and crevices to really make that texture pop out a bit more. I think it's beautiful. I think it's worth trying to a pot. Here's the other side. I do plan on putting my banana plant in this pot eventually. I'm gonna have to do that soon because summer is gonna end soon. Right here is my banana plant that I want to put in it. Oh, that's stuck on something. Ugh, shoot. So it's doing pretty well. This is the biggest leaf. Right now it's kind of at a weird angle just because it has to grow, you know. Um, the shelf's kind of in the way. <laughs> so I will straighten that out once I get it repotted. I think it's going to be gorgeous and hopefully super big. So I think that'll be nice in this gorgeous new pot. I found this really cool shaped glass vase, $7.49. This was at Hobby Lobby. It is heavy duty. I don't really like the glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this and give this a really cool transformation. I'm super excited to show you guys. This is normally $30. All right, now that is nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it with chalkboard black spray paint. Here's after one coat, I'm going to go ahead and give it another coat. So that vase, it had dried with the two layers is all we really need of the chalk paint. Now I'm going to take some soil or dirt, whatever of choice. I have a bucket in the sink to collect the dirt so it's not like going all over my sink. And we'll just take a spoon and put it in our hand like this. And we'll just rub it all around the vase like this.
kind of repeatedly it kind of scratched off the paint right here I thinking it might need to be a little bit wet But make sure when you are rubbing the dirt to always go in this direction. That gives it the appearance that this is some type of pottery. If you're going around like this, I'm gonna get all the way up to the rim. So once it's covered like this, I'm then gonna go ahead and spray it again with the black spray paint. But I'm gonna just do a couple, like not like a full coat, just a couple sprays. And that will help like fill in like these areas right here where they scratched. Some of the paint came off right here which is fine it'll just give it a little bit of indentation right in here which is nice there's some other areas that are starting to come off then i'll do a clear coat we'll go ahead and do a couple more layers of the dirt here is what the base is looking like so far it looks way better just did a cl matte clear coat over the whole thing you can't really see much of the dirt right this minute so i'm going to go ahead and do another layer of the dirt and i'm going to do this very carefully just because I don't really want to try and scratch the surface, but it's okay if you do. I'm going to go ahead and do another layer of the clear coat. You can start to see those little indentations and things making this pot very rustic. I'm so excited. I'll be back with the results. I'm going to keep layering this probably about six more times and then we'll show. This is my finished product. I'm going to go ahead and shut the flash off so you can see it without flash in the natural daylight. It's not focusing very well. <laughs> like I said, I did probably three more layers and I did clear coat and then I added a little bit of cinnamon into my dirt mixture and I would just rub that around the whole thing and then rub off all the excess, spray it again then I went in with a little bit of black acrylic to kind of stipple and give this like texture in random areas so that the dirt cinnamon mixture would kind of stick in those specific areas. I'm going to bring it over here in the, by the kitchen so you can see it a bit better. And that gave that a little bit of texture and a little bit of grip for the, the cinnamon stuck really well right there. I think it makes it look like a rust spot or something like that, so it looks really good. Yeah, this definitely looks like a vintage vessel now, and I'm loving it. Definitely worth about $8. It's very heavy. It feels like a pot because it's glass. Very, very heavy. I'm going to take it to my living room so you can see. So this is the one from Joanna Gaines collection, which I love it. I do, but I'm definitely, I think I'm going to switch it out for the new one that I just made. I think it's just so pretty. And it does smell a little bit like cinnamon. Pop them in and it is so beautiful. I love it. So over here is an actual real vintage vessel. It's a whiskey jug, and you can see it does have this, like, orangey-brown dirt inside the brownish-black color, and it has all kinds of distressing, like, what I just mimicked on that piece. So I think that it does look real, like, it looks similar to that piece. So I'm pretty pleased with all the texture and everything the way it turned out. I love it. It looks pretty good. I had also picked up this cute little vessel from Hobby Lobby. This was only a dollar because it's on clearance. And I did pick up one a while ago, the same exact one. But I just love the texture that this has. These little teeny holes. So I don't want it purple. I'm going to go ahead and paint this and kind of do the same thing that they did with different tones. Like this up here at the rim, you can see this greenish tan and white tones. I'm going to go for more of those colors try to get rid of the purpley tone but it will be kind of like sponged over and yeah so let's get started right, so for the colors i'm going to use to go over this i've got black and i've got white a little bit of this light tan some gray a medium brown tone 
and then this greenish tan color. First thing I wanna do is cover the whole thing. I wanna do it in probably a brown mixed with gray. And I'm just gonna squeeze this right onto the piece. I'm gonna stick my fingers like that. So I have to go through and stipple it so I can see that texture coming back through. Then I'm gonna go back in and add lightness and darkness, starting with black, just because that's the darkest. And I just wanna really go in there in some areas and then like smear it in like this. We'll wipe it off. Kind of distress it, give it that like vintage look. And then like this greenish tone is gonna go, oops. Definitely not what I was wanting right here. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just gonna do this to get most of that off. Okay, I think it's starting to look a lot better already. A lot better than that purpley color we had going on. But what I wanted to do was add in a lighter tone. So down here, it would naturally kind of be dirty. That's where a lot of the dark color colors, whatever, will go. Okay, once it's on, go through and smear this, kind of just like this. Now I'm gonna go back over everything with this tan, and I just really want a little bit like that on the brush, and just kind of glide over it like this, very lightly, to kind of highlight the texture like that okay I'm gonna use a little bit of the tan to do like the same type of thing with just a little bit on the brush right, I think that looks pretty pretty good. There's a little bit of purple in there, but not too much. I really like how it turned out. No longer purple, and it's this really pretty neutral tone. I feel like this could work with a lot of different home designs, just because it's a very rustic, neutral. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye, y'all. Goodbye, y'all. I wanted to show you guys a few more ideas. If you wanted to make your own vintage inspired pottery, you can always use cement. I made these cement bowls a while back on my channel when I did the cement bowls. If you missed that video, I'll link that down below. But these turned out gorgeous. They're like a plate bowl, like a very low bowl. Super cute, super rustic, and they could pass as vintage pottery. Look at this one. It's just gorgeous. I love all the little texture. Now, if you do make a cement bowl, I just want to make sure you guys do use matte clear spray paint and go over the piece just because you don't want these little dust particles all over your home. It makes a mess on everything. So I would just go ahead and spray the front and back of it. Obviously, you're not putting food in these bowls. Here is a, another great example of a vintage pottery piece. I made this a while back. I did not add it in this video. However, I may do it in another video if you guys really want me to. Here's another great example of a vintage piece that you could display in your home. These are actually paper mache. They're not pottery or faux pottery, but they look like it. So this could be another option. I did share a tutorial a while back on my channel. I'll link that video as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave me a thumbs up, a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video if you were inspired, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.